So, what do you say, folks? We dive in with... Uh, hey, Volume 6 came out. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, it is. It's out. Yeah, it's out. And people have had a chance to play it and enjoy it a little bit. And one thing that I noticed was... Because I haven't been playing the mobile app. Because I may have mentioned this before, I typically play the mobile app just to earn table parts. <laughs> and yes. once I've earned all the table parts, then I don't really have any purpose of playing the mobile app I anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so, bam, here we go. Limited timed event popped up, 14 days, uh, where basically I think it refreshes every six hours or so. And mm -hmm. you're able to do these challenges, you know, so it's five minute survival or one ball. And your reward is table parts for the new volume. So I, in five days, I've already got all three of my tables up to two stars. That's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah. what I forgot and I'm realizing is that the reason why I like the challenges, uh, not so much the one ball, but definitely with the, the other two, is it's unlimited balls. And therefore, a table like Space Station becomes so much more or less frustrating. Mm-hmm. While I'm still trying to meet a goal, but I start actually learning the shots and learning the yeah. table. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so whereas I was saying that I didn't think I liked place, uh, Space Station at all, it's growing on me now. It's, it's one of those sort of tables that when you walk up to it, it's not really that approachable, is it? No. Um, it, you know, it's hard to get that ball under control and it's, it's hard to sort of get your head around what you need to do because the the one thing that's probably you know as you as it grows on you an advantage to the table is that the the way you actually lock the balls it's actually for its era quite quite complex like you know you've got to shoot a shot and then it diverts it around the back and that's sort of a bit of a surprise when you first play it and then you know you've got a shot that um you know shoot behind the the top rollovers and it like sort of shoots it down a rail into the front of the play field. Like it's the balls really do go everywhere on that table. So, and I still you know, have yet to figure out where the scoring is on it. Um, it's not exactly obvious as from what I'm gathering, but I also haven't sat down and, you know, even so much as read the apron card. The scoring on space shuttle is really in multi-ball and get your jackpot. And it, it's not a big jackpot either. Like it's, it's, you know, I think about, maybe a couple of hundred thousand points um okay. but you know on that table it makes a difference so you've got to basically get the game into multi-ball and then um you got to relock the balls as it's telling you to do and then once you've relocked the balls that'll also get you the uh the table achievement for that uh, title as well so you get the jackpot getting the jackpot gets you the um the table achievement for space shuttle um which i've done so yeah that's that's really where the points are. Everything else is pretty pretty much chopping wood, really. Which is where it becomes very balls. difficult in survival mode because mm. if you blow it like I do all the time on <laughs> after locking the balls and not getting a jackpot, it's hard to beat survival. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it's you've got to. It's such a low scoring game that you've got to you've got to keep the score flowing. Otherwise, it's yeah, you're dead pretty quick. Yeah. Um, the other two tables with uh, Dr. Dude, I'm realizing that I used to rag on Dr. Dude as kind of like a, eh, who really likes this table? And then I realized mm -hmm. that it's just because I didn't really care for Party Zone, and I kind yes. of equate the two with each other, and mm -hmm. I do really like Dr. Dude. <laughs> Dr. Dude's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Uh, I think um, the thing I'm finding with uh, Zen's version of it is in just regular Zen physics mode. Um, it's a bit drainy out of the center. So hmm. when you shoot the ball up the middle, um, it rattles around the pop bumpers. If it almost feels like there's, it's, it's not a railroad because then doesn't do that, but it almost feels like a railroad, but a bad railroad in that it'll just drop down the middle of the flippers every single time for me. I had to do it five times in a row. I didn't even get a flip Wow, on, on the ball. And it was just, yeah, but in um, uh, the classic physics, it doesn't. I'm so, kind of having that with uh, Space Station when you do lock the two balls and they eject again out the middle. Uh, this oh, yes. is on mobile, uh, so mm. technically Zen physics mode. A lot of immediate center drains with no chance of you hitting it with the flipper. Mm. I, I haven't experienced it on mobile yet. Um, I sort of 
I, I kind of gave up a bit on the mobile. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not really for me. But um, yeah, I, I'd imagine that it, it also coupled with the fact you can't really tilt on mobile either. True. It sort of um, makes it hard. Um, so yeah, it um, makes it hard. Tricky. But I've never been much of a nudger anyway, so it's not uh, mm. like I'm really missing much. <laughs> It's true. I don't really tend to nudge that much in Zen. Like maybe if it's like if it's going to be a catastrophic drain or it's around the outlet. Right. Yeah. If, it, if it's completely obvious it's going to go, then and not on mobile do I ever. But with when I'm playing uh, on my PC, that that's when I'll yeah. actually nudge it. But I see other players like you'll watch their streams and they are Constantly nudging moving. non-stop. Like, mm, 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 mm. It's yeah. Tables like this all the time. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you must have it down. Like I think you can set the tilt sensitivity down so. It will really never ever register a tilt, yeah. but it will still nudge the ball. Um, so you can do like a full stick movement, and it'll only just like move the table a little bit, and you won't get triggered. So I think that's how they set it up. So I'm curious uh, what people are thinking of the uh, enhanced visuals. Because um, mm. for my money, Doctor Dude wins. Oh yeah. Uh, Space Station is kind of can take it or leave it. Um, obviously, in multi-ball, mm. when you got the space shuttles flying around, it can be a little bit annoying blocking the, the side of the ball. And mm. Funhouse, I don't like the enhanced at all. No, there's not, not a lot on Funhouse that I really enjoy. Um, space shuttle, I think, it really does take... Um, that's the actual space station. Sorry, space station, not space shuttle. I know. The space <laughs> station area. So easy to switch between the two. Um but yeah, the space station area where the uh, diverter mechanism is, mm -hmm. is pretty bland on the real table. And having that nicely rendered space station spinning around, yeah, it actually does add to the aesthetics of the game quite a lot, actually. Um, the, the shuttles floating uh, in the air, as I said way back when, when we were doing the um, beta testing on it, um, I did provide feedback that they do obscure the top lanes if you have a certain view angle on. But um, if you're playing in portrait mode on your PC and you've got like view 1W or something like that, it's not an issue. Yeah. Um, but some console um, folks, when it comes out on console, may find that there's some view angles where enhanced mode, just, you, you are blocked at the top there. Um, so yeah, just, just find one that feels right for you and um, do a bit of experimentation. Yeah, I'm curious also to know, uh, and I've seen some people already dropping feedback, but there were those that... Um are unfamiliar with this era of table completely, never having played mm. it in real life. Never seen it. Yeah. yeah, never seen it. And we're worried that these were going to be boring and um, not a lot to do, not deep. And so I'm yeah. curious, once people have given them a shot and played them a significant, significant amount, um, how their opinion changes, if at all, or do they just go, eh, don't like these at all? Yeah, it's going to be interesting because this is not a typical game that the Zen audience would probably be used to, um, like a typical Zen audience, like pre Belly Williams. So yeah. it it may be a bit of a um, a bit of a, a shock to them. But like I said, this whole era is very much it's it's very it's much not about starting only. modes; it's about aiming and shooting specific targets. It is, and it really boils down a lot of the time to multiple. Like that's what they want you to get to. Yes. Um, multi-ball in these games is almost considered like the wizard mode because it's hard to get to in some cases. Um, certainly in Space Station, it's not. Um, it's pretty easy to, to access it, but in Dr. Dude, it takes a bit of build-up. You've got to shoot the ball around a fair few things to get um, the two-ball multi-ball started in Dude mode. So, you know, it's risky to, to get it going. And they are drain monsters, this era of table, so... Which is what yeah, I like yeah. about Doctor Dude, not being the drain monster, but the uh, the needing to shoot a variety of shots. Yeah, it's not. It's just not one, just a like, one ramp table. Targets. Yeah, or like you know, do these drop targets and then shoot the ramp. You know, it's good because you are exploring the table that way, and yeah. it actually, you know, the the way you explore the table, all the shots and geometry change as you play through it. You know, so it, it does keep the table fresh. I think from that perspective, because you are having to explore the table and shoot around at different angles. Um, it's definitely a marksman's game. Um, yeah. You've got to shoot around and, and be accurate in your shots. Otherwise, you'll break and you'll die. 